Rolling credits. Oh, wait, we're just starting. <laughs> hey, that's the old movies. Yeah, that's in the right. old days, they put the credits in first, didn't they? That's true. Yeah. I never even thought about Why not? Alive. That was kind of cool. Alive. <laughs> oh, Hello <thanks>. there. <laughs> I feel alive. I don't. I'll let you know later. <laughs> well. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. <laughs> Happy Sunday at 530. We're just going to see if we can make Sunday at 530 a thing. For the rest of our lives. Well, we know it's always going to come back around, so it's easy to easy to plan for. <laughs> We're going to do a, do a couple of songs that go together well. These are things that go together well. <laughs> All right, you ready? I don't know if I got that right. I think that's it. Very. Thank you for noticing before I had well, to Well, I know, something. right? Good way to start. Hey, we're professionals. Yeah, no, don't, don't try this at home. <laughs> Whatever you do. Here we go. All right, let's try that again. <laughs> ah, ain't got time to wait for trouble to find me. Shoulder ain't no way 
you set me free But I Oh, oh Lord, Lord yeah, yeah. I, I Ain't got time to wait for trouble to find me I said now I Glad I finally started that in the right key. That would have been a real problem. Yeah, I, I really appreciate that personally. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, goodness. We heard another song about being bad. <laughs> well, you should hear the rock and roll. About, I thought it was more about being good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, really good. Well, yeah, there's that. You should hear the rock and roll version of this song back in the 90s. Well, she walked up to me and said, look here, Jack, you're looking at me, you better watch your back. Man playing pool calls me a little sweet suit. I said, I wasn't looking at you, my dear, just drowning my day in a bottle of beer. Staring at a picture on the wall, I must have been behind you. Out of my league. I knew right away she was a little bit intrigued, so I said, Baby, mm -hmm. now, baby, don't I even stand a chance? I know that your man is big and ugly and mean, but he ain't the biggest or the meanest I've seen. And if you don't mind me asking, do you want to dance? Uh -huh. Show that girl just a little bit more I whisper what I was saying About the games that we could be playing And I, I can play all, all night long I said I, I can play all, all night long Just a ploy. Wasn't even little Susie's pool boy. Now, me and Susie, we having so much fun. Playing together just one on one. You know what I'm saying? I never get tired of games we're playing.
<laughs> I can play all night long. That's a true story. Technically, if we're playing Uno and you want to play Duo, it'd be Ghost. Okay. <laughs> That'll work. I can take a dose of dose. <laughs> Do a dosey do <laughs> Well, thanks, everybody. Thank you for uh, whoever's there. We don't know who's there. But... We got several people there. We have Marsha Martin. Hi, Marsha. Um, Lisa Grady, Volker Franke, um, Chuck Arbach. We know Chuck. Um, we know that guy. Happy anniversary. Prudy yeah. and Mary. Uh, Prudy Platt. Some of them must have not heard me because the mic might have been a too little too far. Um, <laughs> Tom Blazak. Cool. Bobby He's back. Clay. Um, a lot of people are speaking in different languages. Oh, different languages. We like that. What languages? Uh, German and I think Spanish. German. That's just sehr gut. And French. Spanish. Is Mary? Is Mary there? She speaks French. Not in Spanish. She does. Which one are you going for? Not in French. I mean Spanish. <laughs> I don't speak a lot of languages, only six or seven, really. If you're looking at that one, that's coming And all later. of them are English, so. <laughs> hey, that one's coming later. Chuck. I was going to do that before. Oh. We'll just go right to him. Then you won't be playing. Okay. All right, that's fine. I didn't take that as an order, so. <laughs> so we've got a few songs for you. This is um, this is one I wrote a few weeks ago. Um, <coughs> and it's funny because... Uh, I don't know, our friend Chuck, you'll see Chuck in, uh, in just a little bit. He's got another song this week he's doing with us. And uh, he was uh, at least, if not a friend, then an acquaintance of John Prine. And um, so I was thinking of him as a songwriter and us as songwriters when I wrote this song. And... Um, and Rodney Crowell, who said that we all had big shoes to fill now that John Prine is gone. And then there's this, there's this guy on Facebook. I don't know if you've heard of him. Patrick Carney was his name. Sounds and he familiar. posted this picture of his little kid in, in giant shoes. <laughs> and I thought, well, that's about perfect. <laughs> and, uh, and then another post of his, uh, another friend of mine. <laughs> totally unrelated. I didn't even know they knew each other. Uh, Dominic Davis. Chuck um, says distance, uh, distant acquaintance. Distant, distant, distant acquaintance. acquaintance. <laughs> well, it's certainly distance now, unfortunately. Acquaintance twice removed. So, and um, so Patrick posted this little picture of his, or this picture of his, his tiny little kid with these giant shoes, and I thought, well, we got to do that song this week. Hmm. And then. Uh, and Dominic posted on a, a different picture of Patrick's that uh, that was about their kids growing up and being in their band, which was kind of fun. <laughs> so, so we got big fuse, shoes to fill, and let's uh, let's see what we can do to fill them. See that little man? Shoes two times his size. They don't scare him, he's gonna wear them. He might trip and fall over top of them big old toes. <laughs> and they might help him stand up tall, nobody knows. He says he's got a song to sing. Got a tale to tell About a man who came before A man who fell A man he spoke of angels And pictures with big ears When he found his Jesus A time before his years So brother throw me and make it shine Like a diamond on the hill And when you sing it Well, you better bring it You 
got them shoes to fill. Brother, throw me a line and make it shine. And make it come from the heart. And every time you sing it, try to keep from crying. Now, I know that's the hardest part. Brother, throw me a line Try to make it shine Like a diamond on the hill And every time you sing Oh, you better bring We got big shoes to fill Nice job. You too. <laughs> <laughs> That's called Big Shoes to Fill. A song about John Prine and all of us that have to come after him. Kevin Quarry it's a, says it's a sit back and close your eyes kind of song. <laughs> oh, I, I, I hope so. I did. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. <laughs> um, let's, uh, let's do that little <laughs> tune that uh, I, think, I, I think this is a, a love song. I think Chuck wrote a love song. Oh yes, actually, a little bit of a story behind this one. I mean, so, he, well, it's he a song it. about a ghost. But. He sang it, and when we were working on it, I personally heard, uh, you know, kind of a bluegrassy sort of thing, like what we did. Mm -hmm. And he said, "Oh, Mary's not gonna like that. She likes this one slow." Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, she's she's come around to it. Well, it's her anniversary. I love this tune, but it's his tune. So. <laughs> That's the thing about anniversaries, you have to share them. Yeah, do. You just don't get it to yourself. That's not fair. So happy anniversary to the Arbots. Happy anniversary. 46. 46. That's a nice path to blaze. Yeah, that's, that's good. Right. We're going to catch them in, uh, in 42 years. Just got to keep running. Keep running. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna we're gonna take you over to this uh, this thing that we did a little bit earlier in the week, but we wore the same clothes. Well, we wore other clothes in between too. So. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and Rhiannon's in the new room, so she should know. She should know. <laughs> All right. So here's Chuck Arbot with a song called "That Lonely Hour." He's right over there. <laughs> All right. Here we go. <laughs> hey, everybody. Oh. Just won't see 
It's why the time I dread the most When I'm laying with your ghost In that long, lonely hour before first light The lonely hour Drags on and on Wasted prayer Chance is gone An honest man Sleeps all night long But I toss and turn Waiting for dawn Even a blind man could have seen What lay ahead of me Ain't no supplies as them we just won't see It's why the time I dread the most When I'm laying with your ghost In that long, lonely hour before first light Our friend Chuck, happy anniversary, happy, Chuck! Happy, happy anniversary, Mary! And happy anniversary, Mary! <laughs> like I said, you gotta share them. <laughs> That's really the only problem with anniversaries. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, it's all good. All righty. Mm. All right. Let's do a little song about. Um, now, what is this about? I think it's about. Story. I think it's about never going back again. <laughs> Oh, that's I know. I just, I, I just have this feeling. Yeah, but I, like, all right. This is one we haven't done for a while because you know we minute. just we don't sit around and play banjo all day long. You don't know what 
sounds like true rain. I had to play a song today on my communist banjo because this machine kills fascists. <laughs> it does. It's a communist banjo, man. Made communist. in East Germany. Yep. Made in East Germany. Only Folker and I, of everybody I know. Have ever been? I haven't. I haven't yep. been anywhere, so yep. that's not saying much for me. I didn't know they had banjos when I was there. I would have bought one. It would have been cheap. I, I could have I could have spent like 12, 12 marks on a banjo. I'm sure they were everything was cheap. Everything was cheap, and it was also inexpensive. <laughs> so let's do a, let's do a new song. Let's do a song. Kathy likes to write songs where she gets to swear. No, you said I swore in trouble, but I was listening while we were doing you that one. You said I don't, hell. No, I don't. You said hell. No, I don't. I don't think. All right. Now so I anyway. Have to go back and listen to it, the song. What's the name I of the song? I do. This is, well, this is what, well, I, yeah, well, this is what right. I swear. So, the uh, story behind this one. The um, <laughs> story behind this one is I was uh, listening to an interview. Uh, it's actually a multi-part interview. I haven't heard the rest of it. I, I got as far as about uh, ten minutes or maybe even five. You turned into it up the and first, wrote a song. Pretty much, yeah, into the first, <laughs> the first interview portion of uh, a young man did it with Dolly Parton, and uh, you know, it, it basically he introduces her and then says, you know, before we get to your to your famous catalog, which is extensive and and just so wide ranging and, and has been covered by tons of people. I wanna I wanna talk a little bit about your early songs. He said you wrote you wrote a lot in your in early in your career, but boy they weren't very happy, were they? And she says, I wrote a lot of sad ass songs and I just turned off the radio and started writing because I was very, very frustrated at the time. What's the name of the song? It's called Sad Ass there Song. There you go. <laughs> So it's, it, uh, it, it, I was, I was very frustrated, <laughs> could not get, couldn't get anything going or started or moving. Boy, it was, um, it was like songwriter constipation. It was not pleasant. And so it, <laughs> it does happen, unfortunately. And so I got started on this one and it was, it was, a uh, it was fairly angry. It was first. a bit angry. <laughs> it was a I took a lot like, of swear words really? out when I did my there edit. Were, there, okay, there's probably one other, but uh, yeah. So it had a it had a pretty sharp edge to it, and uh, so Michael said, well, "Let me sit with this one for a little bit," and he he worked on it for a while, and then it just like didn't go anywhere for a minute, and we revisited it, and here it is. So it this is. is this is you know it started with me. But it's got a whole lot of you in it, so it's it's definitely a Grady Miller That's song. That's the sad ass part. It does it does swear, so cover your children's ears. <laughs> Just once or twice. <laughs> so here's a new one. And I think I know how it goes on this thing, so. 
I hope so. It's only got a handful I'll of chords, so it's around. not so bad. And this is, your, this is the guitar your dad made. <laughs> this so is the this guitar is, my dad made. Anybody didn't get to see it last week gets to see it this week, too. And, and I learned last week, put a strap on it, but he didn't put a button over here anywhere. That guy. You know, he I just know, doesn't seriously. finish anything, does He's he? Just, don't get me started. Do it Gosh. yourself. So I have this beautiful strap Gosh. from Jack East that he gave me, and I had to kind of kind of make do for the Jack moment. Jr. Jack Jr. Yeah. Jack Jr. So, so anyway, so we're... Who's we're here secretly on his dad's account. Lurking, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so here's here's a new one. Uh, Play me the song, honey. A little bit less of the frustration in. Play me the song. Sometimes the drive ain't long enough Find the space to say the stuff that rolls around my head throughout the day. And I'm looking for that perfect rhyme to let my consciousness unwind. But I get home with nothing left to say. Now right now the words just don't seem to come. Thought the lyrics just sound dumb. Half of what I start I throw away. Guess I'll write another sad ass song. Out of love, but you've gone wrong. And hope that better tunes will come my way. Well, the hours are short, but the days are long. Guess I'll write another sad ass song. This one's for the folks down at the bar. The days are long, but the years get short. Ain't got no quick retort. So here's the same old sad ass song so far. Right there, skin of the teeth. That's right. So you know it's fresh. <laughs> fresh music, everybody. It right is fresh music. You. There's no doubt about that. <laughs> it's the first time we ever played that None. song together. We didn't even practice <laughs> first it. First time. We didn't That's even get true. all the way through it on practice. <laughs> <coughs> Y'all should be here for our three o'clock practices. Mm -hmm. It's 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 fun. I was out playing it like it's a 11 good time. So. Good time. You want to do a song for uh, for Marcia's sister? I do. So um, so think, last week, think, uh, Marcia's sister. I would Jill do it passed. if I could. And uh, and she had asked for me to play this, but I didn't, didn't see it, it until after we were already done. So, gonna use a looper again. Um, I did this a couple weeks ago, I think it was. So I've got a a looper on the floor, and if anybody hasn't seen us do this live, um, I record into it. 
and then I have it start playing back, and I'm playing back to it live, so there's nothing that's like pre-recorded or anything. So, so it's not like a, a, a TV show or anything. No, but it's that whole skin of the teeth thing again. Yeah. So here's hoping, yeah. but uh, but anyway, right. so this I'm is go for over Marcia there. in memory of her beautiful sister Jill. This is um, a, a tune written by Jay Unger that a lot of you guys have heard, even if you don't know the name of it. It's called A Shokin' Farewell. <coughs> Pardon me, sorry. It's been a little bit of a day. <laughs> all right, you guys let me know when I am. We're ready to go. We're all good? You are set. You know what? I'm sorry. This is humidity has changed things a little bit. This is too pretty. To not be in tune. the show can farewell. <laughs> Gotta find the button with my shoe. Thank you. 
different every time. <laughs> <laughs> Our friend Holly showed up half, halfway through that. So. <laughs> Perfect timing. She's been out on her boat, so she has. She she said that's hello a, from the that's boat. That's actually though. that's 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 pretty I impressive. That she I know, right? Made it, and she made it at all. I actually I actually got to say hello <laughs> in person. Um, so Rhiannon, if you want to turn that big black knob back down, and uh, make sure that the fiddle is muted again. Where's my hat? See, I had to put the headphones on to listen to that, <laughs> and my hat. Oh no. Oh my god, people saw my head. Ah! <laughs> you could have tossed it. Thank you. You spent about as long as his hair as I did. Oh, no. Yeah, I did. Yeah, no. no, for sure. No. There's for a lot sure. Here. <laughs> so, uh, this is <clears throat> This is an interesting time. And uh, as we all know, and Kathy and I, I don't think, have ever done this song together. I don't think so. I think I've played it with other folks, but I, don't I sat, can't be um, certain. I sat with this album um, that was that was made of white vinyl. The as coolest a, one pressed ever, as a, I think. As a fifteen-year-old, <clears throat> and I um, and I put the needle back. Hundreds of times one night, and I found every single note in this song, and uh, and I wrote them all down in my own little handwriting, and it took me three weeks to learn to play it. After that, to play it badly, and twenty some years to learn to play it well, and uh, and it took me forty some years to find out what it was about. Yep. And so this is a song that was written. Um, last week we did a song by John Lennon, and this is a song by his partner that I didn't know what it was about until recently. Um, he was watching, um, he was watching a show about the Little Rock 16, and, um, and wrote this song. When you hear it in that light about young um, young African American women trying to get an education <laughs> changes how the song sits doesn't it yep by the way the British word back then for young girl was bird still is isn't it it still, still is. might have been it might, still might still be well but it surely was then. There's Blackbirds singing in the dead of night. Take these broken wings and learn to fly all your life. You were only waiting for this moment to arrive. Blackbird singing in the dead of night Take these sunken eyes and learn to see All your life You were only waiting for this moment to be free Blackbird fly Blackbird into the light of the dark black Black 
blackbird singing in the dead of night. Take these broken wings and learn to fly all your life. You were only waiting for this moment to arise. You were only waiting for this moment to arise. You were only waiting. Interesting song. Mm. Makes it all <laughs> more interesting, especially when you're playing jazz. <laughs> well. <you know>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so mm. yeah, so boy, you know, it, it's, that's, that's a different, different kind of song. What do you say there, kiddo? What? You're hollering at us. What do you say? You waving at us? No, she's taking her sweatshirt off. Oh, taking her sweatshirt. Oh, off. speaking of her. So once again, Rhiannon, our Thank daughter, you, is our producer and. And uh, cinematographer and, mm -hmm. and uh, <laughs> all around go getter, and we're we're real happy she's still working on this. Absolutely, we appreciate that a lot. She's gonna probably move into her own place here in a couple months, and then we're gonna have to bring her back every Sunday. Only if I have the money. Here. I know, right? <laughs> she's. If you pay me, then I can get my own place. <laughs> <laughs> I can't pay you that much, sorry. <laughs> it's way cheaper to house you than it is to yeah, <laughs> cover rent. So, did you have something you wanted to close out with there, babe? Well, yeah, I just, you know, I, I feel like this is a this is a different kind of time and a different time for music and. I don't have anything in particular that I want to do because I did everything. Everything seems unimportant compared to truth. compared to the rest that of the world true. at this point. So I guess the I only thing you can do. I have a suggestion for you guys. Okay. Yeah? Do you guys know any black musicians or African American musicians that you might want to feature that could support them? On our, on our. Um, we have a hard enough time or? featuring ourselves. I know. Uh, Jack's as close but as we any, come. any. Maybe songs from black musicians or dead black musicians that you've had. Well, they that... all influence us a hundred percent. Yeah, well, but maybe maybe do a play. whole maybe do a whole playlist be, uh, of of songs from okay. them to support well, them. Good. We could do a show of that. We, um, we tend toward our own stuff, but we do get influenced by that stuff. Something sure. like that. It's always a it's a good idea. It's a good idea. Well, you changed the guitar, so you must have something in mind. Yeah. You can tell me about it. Logan has joined. Oh, yay. Hello, hey, darling. Hey, Logan. Logan, Logan is Logan. upstairs. <laughs> he's not supposed to be on the internet while we're doing yeah, this. Yeah, Logan. Oh, hopefully he's on his phone. <laughs> you want to do Ain't No Sunshine? Oh, sure. Haven't well, we done haven't that in a while, have we? We'll see if like I remember all the four words. Four years. Yeah, longer, I think. Let's do that. Oh gosh, well, we used to listen out on a loop, so you better remember it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know that. Well, hopefully. We do a little bit different version, so if you're going to play along at home, we go to the four before we go to the five. There ain't no sunshine when she's gone. It's on dark when she's away. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone This house just ain't no home Anytime she goes away I wonder this time where she's gone I wonder if she's gone to stay And there ain't no sunshine when she's gone She's always gone too long Anytime she goes away I know, 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 I know,
sunshine when she's gone Only darkness every day And there ain't no sunshine when she's gone She's always gone too long Anytime she goes away That's for all the people who have gone away, That's and they should is. not have gone away. A That's couple true. of them this weekend. Yep, a few more. But thank you guys for joining in. Any last words over there, Rhiannon? Anybody? No. No? <laughs> no. <Nope. laughs> all right, then. All right, well, you guys have a wonderful week, and we will see you again next Sunday at 530. 530. All right, you guys take care. All right, take care.